Do I have to go back to the Devil's Reef Hotel again? Am I supposed to do something else there? Because my objective never changed. It still just says go to the Devil's Reef Hotel when I'm ready. Did I bug out or something? Or like, was that pre-rendered cutscene not the thing that was supposed to happen? Am I, is something else also supposed to happen when I'm here? No one to talk to. Just the one guy that's like, I'm watching the newcomer. Never again, they say. The prophecy with my notes. Since dark aeons before the age of man, Katagonar lies beneath the ground. <coughs> In that eldritch prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. But there are those who would free the daughter, if the dreamer's seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle, those carrying the seed are drawn to Katagonar, driven by hideous visions. The seal of Katagonar will open the way. Many will, per will try and perish. When the stars are right, and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter shall be freed, and from her swollen womb the dreamer shall spawn once more. Is this my fate? Will the one who succeeds die? Putting everything in together. The source of the spreading madness is the dreamer's hidden daughter locked in Katiganar, an eldritch prison beneath Oakmont. Only the seed can enter Katiganar, and may open it, or close it, for one more cycle. The entrance to Katiganar is the monolith in Central Advent. To open it, I must complete the seal by finding three stone cave, fin cave fingers growing on three monoliths around the city. The first is on the central monolith. To find the other two, I'll need to seek out the fire worshippers. There was zero new information on that. Is, is that what I needed in order to continue? That's totally what happened, isn't it? I have everything except cultist. That probably requires me to get all the coins or something. The king's robes. Plague doctor is pretty incredible. I think that's genuinely what happened. We had the information, we had our full briefing of what to do to continue the story, but my protagonist left his journal at home, so we had to go back and get it, as far as I can tell. So like, I already had the information, but if I don't pick up my book on the counter that just repeats the same information back at me, then it's not on my quest log, so I can't continue the story. Strange. Whoa, this wasn't on fire a moment ago, was it? That pretty drastic way to get rid of the past. Yeah, we know the fire worshippers around here because we did the uh history's uh historic monument mission thing. I can smell the gasoline even from here. Why would anyone need so much? I like the idea that none of this was happening until I remembered to pick up my journal back at home, and then suddenly everything's on fire now. That's pretty funny. Cleanse yourselves. The time has come, brothers and sisters. We must cleanse ourselves before we face the new world. We shall leave behind all our sorrows and passions and meet our new lives pure. Join the cleansing at St. Michael's Church of the Burning Bush. Yeah, I even went to the right place and everything. It's not closed tightly, and there's still some gas in the can. It seems like it was opened recently. Those who are pure shall rest by his feet, and their souls will rejoice, and they will sing forever among the angels. 
Is that does that word actually mean something different than angels? Because everyone's pronouncing it different. They're kind of slightly pronouncing it differently, but definitely spelling it differently. They put a fire around like a statue, and yeah, that they the worshippers seem to have all burned with it. Hmm. That's a bad time. Oh, hey, a human. You scared me. Who are you? Are you late for the cleansing, too? Yeah, my name's Charles Reed, and you are? Meryl, but just call me sister. We're all family after all, right? What happened here? The cleansing. This cycle has come to its end, and the next is about to begin. So we must purify ourselves in the fire. Wait, you mean they did it to themselves? With joy, brother. Joy. We have waited long for this moment, but soon the cycle will begin anew, and we will be reborn in the new world. Cleansed. You can leave all this behind, brother. A fresh start. Join us. But... Uh, how do you know? What if it's just suicide? If the cycle doesn't restart, then we are truly blessed. For we'll avoid the great calamity. Angel showed us those horrors in our dreams. If we are not reborn in the new cycle, then the seed has succeeded, and the daughter is free, and that is no world worth living in. Have you seen a place on this monolith with a piece of stone growing from it? I couldn't see anything on the outside. Oh, I know what you speak of. It's at the bottom of the basement. You're a fire worshipper, yeah? Do you know which of the monoliths opens the way beneath the city? Why do you ask? I'm trying to stop all this madness from spreading. A noble intention. We saw the stones you seek in our dreams. Father Nicholas knew how to find them, but I'm sorry. He hid his notes downstairs so only the seed can find them. People like you and me won't have much luck. Are you planning to... immolate yourself? It is the cleansing, yes. You might want to think about it. You'll scream and scream in pain as the fire burns your flesh. It would be a slow and awful way to die. I... well... yes. Oh, maybe I should reconsider. That was a distressingly easy thing for to get her to reconsider. Did she never think about the part where she burns to death? A Book of Holy Flame. The Lord has established his throne in heaven among the tongues of flame and fiery pits. Those who are pure shall rest by his feet, and their souls will rejoice, and they will sing forever among the angels. The sinners, contrarywise, Shalt go to hell, and him of devil, him of devil sunken below, with its cold streets and silver cobblestones, where they'll rest in eternal suffering until the end of time. At hand, I feel like th you think this would be a one and done thing, right? Like, up oh, there's our big everyone dies ritual. So, like the fact that she's even here, like hanging out reading a book, I'm already like, excuse me, you. You clearly are having second thoughts. Seems like everybody else is gone already. Shopping list. Cans of gasoline, kindling, large box of matches. Try to get everything to the church before dawn. How astute to make a shopping list for your ritual suicide. What, is that a... He's just squeezing his ass. Okay. Ooh.
they so this was a monolith and they built their church into it like must have burrowed into it did these people try to run away from the fire because of all the pain probably they probably tried to run away but then ultimately just collapsed and burned very completely too I like guess that, that was a thorough burning that they were subjected to somebody knew what they were doing when they set this up Warning note. Brothers and sisters, please be careful. The end of the cycle is nigh, and wild beasts have begun to inadvertently emerge in some of our premises. If you are visiting the Zetetic room, please exercise extreme caution and be sure to bear arms. Lucid dreaming, dream wandering. Someone's been studying hard. Ooh. Wait, just one bullet? Wasn't that entire thing? It's a very large container for one round. Oh boy, howdy. Anyway, I'm gonna be up in here. If you don't mind me. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Which one's that? Oh, little hand boy. Who else we got? Wasn't there a projectile guy? Did he despawn? Wasn't there more than two of them? Where'd they go? Huh. I think they I think sleeping draft. A strong one. I think they despawned. Oh, maybe they used that to burn without running away. Some of them. Dream Diary. The human blood is to find treasures of the ones who are not human anymore. The first stone will drop the shadow on his dwelling. Three lives take their start among the iron horses in the shadow of the second stone. The waters will wash away the first blood they spill. The priest's records. At last, the dreams of my brothers and sisters have started to become clear. The cycle has come to its end. Time to perform the cleansing so our souls can retain their memory, their purpose. I put together all the signs from our dreams and hid them so only the seed can find them. They'll help him find what he seeks. Seed, if you're reading this, I hope you'll restart the cycle so that we may meet in the next one. Oops, gonna lose some sanity from staring at the wall sphincter. Ooh. Creepy. This must be part of the seal. I lose my sanity every moment that I look at it. Kaka? Kaka. Kaka. It's pulsing at me. Okay. One moment, please. There we go. <laughs> I imagined a secret box behind me. That was weird. I've never seen that before. It looks like this was left for me. Father Nicholas's instruction. The first monolith, by its mere presence, shall transform a man from ordinary to renowned. Once the water rises, he will divine inhuman treasures never before seen. Drawing crowds and acclaim to his humble abode. Many shall praise him, transcribe his words, and shall his face, uh, and share his face on paper. Seek the monolith, for it hides what the seed desires under the azure cloak. The second monolith, pretentious and proud, shall be delivered unto the oak, unto Oakmont with disciples three, each identical to the last. They shall enter this world at an uncertain hour. 
as the first young citizens of Elkmont after the waters rise. Seek the monolith, for it holds that which the seed desires. Did I just get a key again? It says I got a key. Brother, you must join us because we must cleanse ourselves as the cycle begins anew. Are you sure? It's going to hurt. Uh, you know what? On second thought. Oh, forgive me, my weak will, brothers and sisters. I could not follow you. I mean, I can help you if you're not, if it's just the fire part that you're, bo you're bothered about. Like, there's much faster, cleaner ways to follow if that's what you really want to do. God, what a horrible idea they had. Also, isn't the point of the cycle beginning anew that it just that the Cthulhu thing doesn't happen? Isn't the idea that I just close the door for another 300 years or something like that? Like, why... Why do they need to die in the first place? Okay, so the church isn't burrowed into the spire, it's just right in front of it. I'm confused about the premise here just because I... I thought... Like, if I let it loose, it destroys the world and all creation. But if I don't let it loose, then it just goes back to being locked up for a while. So, like, I don't see why they all need to die. It's not like they're all about to be raptured and they better cleanse themselves first or something. The world's just probably going to continue on as if nothing had happened for everybody else. I am the seed. The seed might not die. The cycle will repeat. K finger beneath the azure cloak. Katakaner holds the daughter. I might survive. The prophecy doesn't say that I'll die if I enter Katakaner. There's a chance I may survive. Holds the daughter. The cycle will repeat. Restart the cycle and save mankind. If I restart the cycle, Ogamon will be destroyed, but mankind will be spared for another few centuries. Restarting the cycle is useless. There's no sense in postponing the inevitable. One day, someone will end the cycle and mankind will be destroyed. That's really stupid. That's like saying nothing matters ever because the heat death of the universe will happen eventually. I'm like, okay, whatever. Okay, so I need to find these two monoliths to figure out where the heck they are. And I don't remember where they are. I mean, they're, they're a little missable, surprisingly. Whoa, green sky. Like, you'd think I would see that more, but I actually haven't really noticed that giant horrible spire that often. Possibly because the beginning point is on already on top of a hill. So you have to look way up into the fog. So I'm not sure if I know where to go to look this up, but I keep thinking, hey, you know, this seems like news, right? Surely the newspaper would have reported on where all the monoliths are. That makes sense to me. I'm wrong a lot, though, about what stuff wants me to go to the newspaper. Also, can I be like, yo, time to... Hey, can you tell everyone to evacuate? Stay safe. Yeah, that's the issue. <laughs> Elkman's apparently gonna get destroyed even if I do the good thing. Y'all should really try to evacuate from here.
I, pr I pressed a little too fast. I accidentally skipped it. What did I find? Incredible discoveries. A small strand line in the eastern end of Old Colony Street is now the talk of Oakmont. Jimmy Price, a fisherman living in the boondocks on the border of Coverside and Grimhaven Bay, has become famous overnight for his remarkable findings. Not a week passed without him emerging from the sea with another piece of gold, jewelry, or ancient treasure. Antiquities expert Diane Miles is baffled. These trinkets are unlike anything I've ever seen, said Miss Miles. The only thing I can tell you for certain is it's pretty darn old. Border between Coverside and Grimhaven Bay. Eastern end of Old Colony Street. Ah. Somewhere around there. The second monolith, pretentious and proud, shall be delivered unto Alkmont with disciples three, each identical to the last. They shall enter this world at uncertain hour, as the first young citizens of Alkmont, after the waters rise. Seek the monolith, for it holds that which the seed desires. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I have to wait for it to appear? It sounds like it's saying that they're going to appear at some point, so maybe they're not even here yet. This one is the first monolith by its sheer presence shall transform a man from ordinary to renowned. Once the water rises, he will d divine inhuman treasures never before seen, drawing crowds and acclaim from its, to his humble abode. Many shall praise him, transcribe his words, and share his face on paper. Seek the monolith, for it hides what the seed desires. Like, that's him. He's, he's going out and he's finding crazy treasure and he's famous and, his hum and he's got his humble location. Any worries because he's been doxxed by the newspaper. <laughs> so we'll investigate that. Then I'll see if I can find where the other one is. They both seem like they're newspapery style things. Like they're both news items. I figure I'll find them in the same place. It seems to say the current that the other one's not currently accessible. Because none of them give me a book icon for the newspaper. So either I have to go to a different location or I have to come back later. Which, kudos to that newspaper. If it does come up in the newspaper later, then they get their information fast. And they sort it in a way that lets me already be able to find it in their archives, apparently. We have not spent so much time on this side of the map. Oh. Excuse me? Ma'am, are you aware that your face is completely covered in blood? Oh yeah, there's the monolith. Things are getting all Lovecrafty in the sky. Still wet. Someone undressed in a hurry. You know anything about this? No? fragment on this side of the monolith. This isn't gonna be easy. Do I need to dive down or climb it or something? K uh, finger behind the azure cloak. So the ocean? A dive to complete the seal. The prophecy says that one monolith will hide what I seek under the azure cloak. Sounds like I need to hunt for part of the seal underwater. 
The fisherman from the article found the gold underwater. He should have somewhere to dive from. Maybe he'll find some clues in his house. Let's see here. Looking for that habitation symbol. We must live around here. I need to find this diving location. Ah, he might live up here. The house of Jimmy Price. The door won't budge. Newspaper article. Since the day Oakman was stricken by the flood, fishermen have complained that their prey seemed to have vacated all the coastal waters. I have no clue where the drock, all the fish went, said Mr. B. Morgan, a fisherman from Salvation Harbor. We return empty-handed every single time. Yet those toad-faced scum return with nets loaded up with fisk. This is witchcraft of their underwater kin, I'm telling you. The port is ringing with dissatisfaction at the unprecedented advantage the Innsmouthers have in the fishing trade. To what can the success be attributed? The Oakland Chronicle will investigate. One thing's for sure, though. Something smells fisky. I don't know why they keep switching back and forth between fish and fisk over and over again. Letter from a relative. Jimmy. None of us is going to leave our homes and join this Dane adventure of yours. We're perfectly fine here in Oakmont and have no need to look for a better place. Moreover, calling you, your skip Archie is drock of a Dane idea. Aunt Lavinia. Am I supposed to drop down here? Yeah, we start on the second floor this time, I guess. There you are. Yep, just gotta get in there. The door won't budge. The door won't budge. Sir, you seem to be keeping coffins in your fishery. Oh, hi. Uh, you a local? Can I ask you about this shore? Live here for 30 years. I'm gonna die here, so... What do you want? I need to get to the base of that rock off the beach. Where's the best place to dive? So you're going to hell like everyone else. Figures. What do you mean? The crew, the Archie. My family. All of them drowned. Something in the mail. It calls to them. It hypnotizes them. So you still want to go? As if I've got any choice. Then may I ask you for a favor? Would you put these crosses on my relatives down there? I don't know how else to help their poor souls. If you agree, I'll show you where I used to dive. Before the snow. You said something on the seabed caused your family to drown. How is that possible? Archie was our chance to escape. We tried to get away, but the mare stopped us. Rocks appeared from nowhere. A deep fog fell. We spent a week roaming near the shore, unable to escape. Our supplies drained, our minds weakened, whispers, shadows moving in the fog. Madness. The... I put on a diving suit, but the others just jump overboard, one by one. I was the last. And the suit's the only reason I got to shore. Now, won't it be difficult to identify your relatives? It's only been two days. Their bodies will not have spoiled. Uh, but there's the fish. The fish can board the rock, like anything alive. I'll help you. Now, give me the crosses and show me where to dive. Okay, bless you, mister. I have a dive spot on the first floor. Here's a key. I didn't get your name. What do they call you? Jimmy Price. Why do you ask? It's been a while since I've met an ordinary person. I just 
Wanted to talk. And the name's Charles Reed, by the way. Well, nice to meet you, Charles. You ever think about what might be, Jimmy? Something you want more than anything. What? That's an unexpected question. Let me think. I guess it's obvious. I want to hug my Rebecca one more time. Want to see a smile on her face. And you? I want none of this to be real. To wake up in my bed in Boston, eat real food, drink good coffee, and forget it all. Sounds nice. Yeah. So, Jimmy, what's next for you? I... I don't know. I've lost it all. My wife, Rebecca, my daughter. The mayor took everyone I knew. Now I wonder if the mayor is making me repay for my greed. Taking that gold from its depths. Curse the day I found that drock ring. Even if that were true, you couldn't have known. It's not your fault. I... I guess. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. I guess it's back to it. Take care, Charles. Bye. Just a nice little human moment interacting with somebody who's not actively manipulating us or exploiting us or attacking us or turning into a fish monster or the 500 concerning things that everyone seems to be up to all the time. Oh, that's the door that wouldn't budge. Huh. All he had to do, apparently. Interesting that they all said they weren't going to come, and then they came. Oh, one more knowledge point. There we go. Combat skills. So ammo tree is maxed out. Sanity tree is maxed out. Health is maxed out. Rewards is maxed out. Crafting is maxed out. Damage is maxed out. Now we're just throwing points away, basically. When I get them. Fisherman's farewell note. Whether the gold I found was cursed or not, I have enough to start building a skip of my own. I'm calling her Archie. We're leaving this wretched city that even Kay has turned his back on. If anyone finds this, please pray for us. And that didn't work out. Oh, time to go right back down there again. 